Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Bhavyansh here with us, who has recently been placed at Athena Health, and he is here to share his interview experience with us. So before we go and talk to him, let us just look at the eligibility criteria. CSC and Circuit Branch students with a CGP of seven or seventy percent in tenth, twelfth, as well as the passing degree with no standing arrears were eligible. So now let's go ahead and talk to Bhavyansh. Hi Bhavyansh. Uh, firstly, congrats on your placement and welcome to my channel. Thank you. Thank you, Vishnu. Um, so, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah. So my name is Bhavyansh Sharma. I am uh, currently pursuing B.Tech from Bellore Institute of Technology, Chennai, and I have recently got an offer from Athena Health. And uh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Ah, yeah, so uh, actually, first of all, uh, we received the link that uh, you have to register on uh, the new pad portal that VIT has, and uh, the uh, the Athena Health visited our college uh, at the time of like twenty three August two thousand twenty two. And then, uh, followed by that, uh, we had a pre-placement talk, in which uh, they gave all the student that registered in that link uh, the test link. Okay. And then we had a test on Hacker Rank. Okay. Uh, so mostly we uh, VIT students have test on Hacker Rank itself. Okay. And then there were like uh, three coding questions hmm. and uh, ten MCQs. Okay. Uh -huh. So basically, the three coding questions were based on the data structures and algorithm. Okay. And one of the question was from graph. Hmm. Another one was uh, from BP. Okay. And the third one was uh, of basically the uh, ad hoc question, basically the algorithm based on matrices. And okay. All. That was uh, that was clear, uh, literally so so easy. Okay. The third question was. Uh, Easy. The second question that uh, was of DP hmm. was between medium and hard, hmm. and the graph question was also uh, a little bit tricky. Okay. But if you have solved such type of problems, then hmm. uh, then you know you have developed that uh, mindset of solving right, those right. type of questions. Hmm. <coughs> you could have solved that in uh, twenty thirty minutes. Okay. And the whole test was of uh, like. Uh, 80 minutes. Okay. So in those 80 minutes, you hmm. have to solve the decoding questions and uh, MCQs. Hmm. I was able to solve all of them. Okay. And uh, all the MCQ MCQ was pretty easy. Hmm. Uh, pretty easy MCQs. And apart from that, then we had the short list. Okay. The next day. Hmm. And out of 3,000, they short listed around 110 for the interview rounds. Okay. <coughs> So, so then I received uh, the technical one round hmm. uh, email. Okay. And the the interview was uh, quite friendly and hmm. asked me a lot about uh, uh, the uh, basic uh, development questions, hmm. like some questions on database hmm. and some questions on the development that I have done hmm. through my resume and hmm. projects. Hmm. So and then. Uh, He uh, made uh, the interview was uh, going on on hacker and code pair. Hmm. So okay. he shared a uh, he shared a code screen where I had to code, hmm. and then he gave me one question. Hmm. The question was uh, so he started a, a bit uh, easy uh, easy questions okay. first, and then he asked me like uh, there are two arrays, and okay. you have to find. A pair which has the minimum difference. Okay. So if you uh, if you have solved uh, some uh, questions on lead code, then you might uh, have gone through this question as well. And uh, I was pretty lucky that I I solved it in the past, and hmm. then I solved it. So then he gave me another question, and that was group anagrams. That okay. is also one of the uh, legendary question that lead code has. Okay. So then also I solved it in uh, some minutes, hmm. and then uh, he asked me the third question, 
which was basically a string manipulation question hmm. uh, using hash maps. Okay. And then also, uh, and then I solved that one also. Hmm. So after those three questions, he asked me to uh, question him if I have any doubt. Hmm. And then that interview went very well. Okay. Uh, you know, he gave me a good feedback also. Okay. After that, uh, I received the next round that was managerial round hmm. as they name it. Hmm. But actually, what I find it was another technical round. It was nothing related to management. Hmm. And then I got the link. Hmm. I just uh, went through it. And uh, in that uh, in that round, they asked me about uh, uh, the first. They first introduced. Uh, told me to introduce myself and then they asked me one more DSA question okay. which was also based on hash maps hmm. and then they uh, asked me some uh, SQL queries question they told me to write the queries hmm. which was uh, luckily I was able to write uh, provided in the time frame hmm. after that uh, <clears throat> they asked me questions about my projects uh, and uh, then my uh, skill set that I mentioned in my resume okay. and, and my you know uh, the tech, tech stack that I have worked upon mm-hmm. and then they uh, asked me if I have gone through any hackathons and if, you know this is very important when it comes to uh, the interview round because then you can mention it and then they can obviously know that you have worked upon something. Yeah. So then I mentioned it also that I have worked upon hackathons and mm secured this much rank in mm. this this, this hackathon. Mm-hmm. Then they were, uh, the interview was quite, uh, uh, you know, impressed. Mm. And then she told me to wait for the HR out. Okay. And uh, at that time, I was quite sure that, uh, you know, I will get to the HR out. But mm. uh, many of uh, many of the students that got shortlisted for the managerial round mm. were getting the HR things. Okay. But, uh, I was not getting it, so mm. I thought that maybe the, I am eliminated or something. Mm. And the end of the day also I didn't receive any HR link. Okay. But the next day, they gave me the HR link. Mm. And then the HR was uh, quite uh, friendly, he was also from VIT, so oh, he okay. had a little bit of, uh, you know, VIT mm. mm. that and then mm. we moved forward. Mm. So yeah, he was uh, quite uh, satisfied with my performance and mm. he said that, uh, you know, your previous sound feedbacks were quite good, so mm. we will be moving on with you. And then uh, at 4, 4 p.m. that day, we received the selection list. Okay. And 10 students were selected, so yeah, that's, that was the whole process okay. that took place. Okay, yeah. Thanks for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions or tips for people who want to get into good companies yeah the first of all that every other guy that you meet would suggest you to solve DSA questions right, right. because that's the basic if you don't know DSA then mm. uh, you won't be able to cross even then, the coding right. rounds of the company right. so first of all you should have a good hold on uh, DSA and concepts like a uh, dynamic programming mm. DFS DFS mm. and sorting algorithms and you should be, uh, you know, very well versed with those algorithms and those mm. questions that you uh, usually find in the interview. Mm. So my first advice would be to be well in DSA. And the second thing is, which I feel, is you should have a good uh, portfolio of your development projects. Mm. Because there are usually two types of companies that visit the campuses. Or if you also try to go for a off campuses. Mm. The first one would look on your DSA skills, mm. many big giants like Microsoft. Most of the companies look at the DSA skills, but there are companies that also mm. uh, judge you on your development skills. Mm. So that is also one of one of the important things is that you make your own projects. Don't mention the projects that you haven't made in your resume mm. because they will grind you on that project and then they will easily come to know that you have not made them. Mm. Right. So my advice would be to be a genuine, hmm. uh, mention your uh, projects in a good way and uh, the third thing which I would like to mention is uh, if you have 
time in your hand mm. then work on yourself develop some a uh, soft skills like communication skill uh, if you have the solution in mind and you're not able to speak it or you you're not able to tell the interviewer how you feel about the question mm. and how your approach is then he can't help you with that even if you are able to solve right. it because right. not every time he will tell you to code it mm-hmm. okay that's okay so thanks again for the ex- experience and for sharing the suggestions and yeah thank you